when you experienced true and pure grace and you knew it? I was in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. um, I was going through my horrible divorce. I was 31. Mm -hmm. I was in a terrible depression. I took myself to this tiny little island and decided I needed to spend 10 days in silence to try to have a truth and reconciliation hearing with myself because I was so full of shame and pain. Mm. I decided I wouldn't speak, not a word, for 10 days and I didn't know anybody. I went and got a hut on a beach in this tiny little very poor fishing island off of Lombok in Indonesia. And I got terribly, terribly sick with food poisoning. And my plan was to walk around the island every day because it was a tiny little mm. island. And there was this one woman, this Muslim woman, I mean, I, when I say this island was poor, I mean what these people fished that day is what they ate for dinner that night, mm -hmm. you know? And this one woman on the other side of this island used to see me walking, and she would put her hand on her heart and smile at me when I walked by, and I would do the same to her. And then I got really sick, and I was stuck in my cabin, dehydrated, terrified. I actually thought I had malaria, mm -hmm. you know, and far away from anyone who knew me. And this woman came and found me. Something in her knew that I wasn't well. She'd seen me, mm -hmm. and she knew I wasn't doing well anyway. But when she didn't see me on my daily walk, she came and knocked on my door and and saw the condition that I was in and went like this and came back an hour later with fresh food and fresh water for me. And I just started crying in her arms. And she held me in her arms like I was her child and, and just rocked me and took care Did of me. Did you even know her name? I didn't know her name, still don't. And, um, and mm. by the way, she is my face of Islam whenever, you know, whatever conversation in the world is ever happening about Islam, she is my face of Islam. That woman who 